Good morning, we're so glad you're here. Doing a little so, little bit of cell phone action because we just left our church here in Winter Park. First time we've actually first visited it. That we went to since we here. Yeah, so now we're just gonna go for a little stroll before we hop in the car and head back home because Winter Park or Park Avenue here is just so beautiful and quaint with it all not so hustly bustly right now. It's just quiet and, and calm and serene. Look at this cool fountain. Um, I don't know the history. Presented to the city of Winter Park in commemorative of the 25th anniversary of Winter Park Sidewalk Art Festival. But what I love about this is. Yeah, I think that's so clever. It's a statue of a heart player, and the strings are water. By the way, we loved our church. Yeah. And we got stuff to register, and two women, like important women in the church, are both from the South Side of Chicago. One of the sisters and the principal of the Catholic Church. Both from Chicago. Knew Even our neighborhood. Last name of my cousins. I mean, it's a very common last name. It's Walsh, but and the priest's name last name was Walsh too. And it was Irish. They gave me coffee. Yeah, they had so many donuts. They had boxes and, and boxes of delicious looking donuts. <laughs> Do you feel so? Oh, wait, do you feel so suburban, like? When yeah. was the last time we went to woke up on a Sunday, went to church, and now we're at a grocery store? Long, long time ago, days. Wait, wait, I'm gonna. We're literally coming into the grocery store just to get supplies for to enhance the pancakes I'm gonna make later. Yeah, we realized we don't have anything delicious on top. Like it would just be plain. This would be good, but we need no we need, sugar. Yeah, we need the sugar and the sweets. Yeah, we need brown sugar. She's the cutest pup in the land. All right, so we're home. It's, what a time is it, 10 o'clock, a little after? 10.30. 10.30, we gotta get to work. <laughs> um, we're live streaming at noon. Sarah needs to start editing. Yeah, she's sitting there like, you gotta start editing. I'm gonna put away the dishes and start cooking, cooking, start making pancakes. Glitch. <laughs> <laughs> I just glitched. Um, what are you thinking about? I don't know. I Let's do it. I put on Wally. What? I didn't put on either of the things I said I was gonna put on. I said I was gonna. Peter said, "Quiet, man." I was gonna put on Boy Meets World, and then I saw Wally, so I put on Wally. I set up the couch to fold laundry. You're still in your church clothes. Yeah. Making pancakes. Making pancakes. Fun fact about me, I was in a production of Hello Dolly my sophomore year of high school and I had a very bad time. I did. I didn't have a bad time, just wasn't my favorite show. You know, like when you're 15, 16, you start to fall in love with someone who doesn't love you back at the moment. <laughs> just joking, that wasn't that time. That was before that. No, that was just a different time. <laughs> that was a different time. Um, Peter had, back <laughs> Peter had back surgery, so he, he was on crew in theater, so he would build the sets and then like do the sounds. Um, do, this. do the sounds. <laughs> um, anyways, I was in the ensemble and at that period, it was just a weird period of my time, of my life, and my favorite part was my really cute purple costume. So I'm gonna put a picture of me in Hello Dolly so the Hello Dolly soundtrack has been burned into my brain um, after rehearsing it a million bajillion times. And then it redeemed itself when it was in Wally and on Main Street and now that's how I know all the words because I was in Hello Dolly. The true fun fact is that the next production that our school did was a play and I joined crew just to hang out with Peter. I'll put in a picture of that here. And we went together later that year. It all worked out. We're here. We moved to Florida. We have a dog named after a character in this movie. Like everything worked out, right? The funny, the a really funny thing is that I saw this picture on Facebook last night that was of a like a high school science classroom, basically being like everybody has spent way too much time in this place, and it was literally 
the backdrop of mine and Peter's relationship. I'll put that picture in here because we're just putting in all the pictures today. All right, so here's an update. These are the first four pancakes and they're looking like the best vegan pancakes I've ever made. I've attempted vegan pancakes two other times and they both came out real flat. This is a super basic recipe, but it's just is high in sugar and high in extra baking powder. To it, and I think that's what's giving it the, the plumpness that I was missing before. So success, hopefully. Also, Sarah hasn't seen it yet, but I made up this for her. Went to the store just for this, and this is what she likes to do when we go to breakfast buffets at Disney, even though we don't do that too often, but whenever it happens, this occurs. I know what my best friend likes and needs. Wow, that's pretty perfect. Alrighty, we are live, and we made a big mess, because we're we talking about decorating. Thank you to everybody who joined us. Say hi to the vlog. Thank you for wish suggestions and the flying suggestions and the decorations and just spending time with us. It wasn't as exciting as last weekend's live stream, but <laughs> it was still good. you can't beat Tyler in a live stream. We go live every single Sunday, so if you'd like to join us live, come on back. Before the sun goes down and it's totally dark in here, we want to show you what we hung. Got our Declaration of Independence and the Constitution here. We are situating exactly what we're gonna put on this back wall. But next to it, we have our big American flag. And then our train station artwork. One is from Disney World and one is from Marceline where Walt grew up and fell in love with trains. I don't think that we ever showed that. We hung our two towers quote here. Um, I wanna get like little hanging plant things to go underneath it, but it is a start, so we've officially started hanging stuff in here. Still have a long way to go, but um, you know we have our plants situation that we're gonna put above the TV, and then a lot of photos and a big mirror over the couch. We're still gonna get something for this wall. Into the kitchen, we got our Pepsi Cola um, cookie jar. I put up all of our cooking books here on this little ledge. And then a little homage to our Route 66. This is a salt and pepper shaker. Um, so we always said it was like me and Peter on Route 66. And um, we want to start using these jars again for some dry beans and chickpeas. And then just a small addition to our little sign off corner. Our it's good to be home sign from Tyler's mom. The very beginning of anything added to our bathroom is this, this line was made for you and me sign that we have. Um, we still need a shower curtain, all new stuff in here, but I thought it just looked cute to like at least have something started. Ideas are going. And then our biggest change, which the bed has not been made today, it truly is nowhere near to being done, um, but it's our bedroom. We rearranged it and added our little bench here again. This is the print from Port Orleans Riverside, like totally not the look we're going for but we'll eventually either get a reupholstered or maybe just put a blanket on it because i feel like oh, it's gonna be a blanket on it. yeah i i like keeping that secretly underneath it she does not like the hanging of things so just little additions here with our little doily and um cologne and perfume we did hang our last name thing i want to put maybe like I don't know, a plant or something here that'll go underneath. We have my wedding bouquet and our little like homage to our sweet babes. I don't know, maybe our new embryo will put a picture in here because this this is the same as this baby is the same as this baby. We're gonna figure out how we're going to display the watercolor we got of our previous, our, our first um, embryo transfer. Um, but this is just the start of just a little remembrance of those those little babes the hats are going to be moved over here eventually we're going to get a table here that we'll put our record player on and the hats will go over that this corner is what we have a ton of possibilities for um we're gonna possibly put a plant over the bed like i said move the hats um but we have some sheet music that we have to get framed that we want to put up as well as some pictures and maybe um again another plant so this is just the start of getting of finally getting this totally situated 
I'm about to start dinner. We got these from Publix. Let's see if they're actually going to look like this picture does. Well, 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 look at this delicious looking patties. That ah! So not quite. Excuse me. The same as what the box shows, but yeah. so good. And, and I fried up some onions. Yes, and I'm hoping these new pans are easy to clean because that looks like a barrel of fun. We got these fancy artisan buns today. Mm -hmm. We got some guacamole. Wow. And some That's salmon. just like my family's like classic Italian, like tomato, lettuce, onion salad. And our cute Mickey made you back out. We think it's summertime with the windows open. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to you, cha cha cha! Thank you. You're welcome. Happy John. Ooh, that is a late night. We have our It's Good to Be Home above our calendar. Today is by Coco Chanel. You live but once. You might as well be amusing. I dig it. I hope to some degree that we're amusing to all of you. Um, at least a little bit. At least partly. And other parts just enjoyable, I guess. Um, I just watched Remember the Titans. Sarah's been asleep since before that. Um, as you know, like, as you could tell, like, we just stayed home today, we relaxed, we did some organizing, some cleaning, some hanging, um, and then just hung out. It was a busy week, busy weekend, and we had an early start today, and it was just another one of those days, guys, gals, that, uh, it was just a roller coaster, you know? You get good days and bad days, so today was not the best day, but... As always, we are doing our best to stay optimistic. We're super excited. We're in the beginning stages of our next embryo transfer, but the, the, the pains that we've experienced in the past don't go away, and they're never gonna go away. So some days you, you handle them better than others, and today was a bit more challenging to handle, but we, we're getting through and getting through it together, but it is now the end of the weekend. It was a good, fun weekend. Time to start another awesome week. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>